Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here, coming to you from Disneyland TGIF. Thank goodness it is Friday, and that is Mr. Mickey Mouse directly behind me. I wanted to show you something very interesting that is actually inside the theater here. The great moments with Mr. Lincoln building the Opera House. Every once in a while they change what is going on inside the building, different displays and things that they are actually presenting. And currently, the Disney Gallery presents Drawing Disneyland, the early years. So let's take a look back at the past of this fantastic place here on this Friday and go inside and look at some of the early years, artist renditions as well as photos inside these doors. It's my second channel, Daily Blog Channel. It's the Daily Woo Friday from Disneyland, the early years. And one of the first things you see when you walk through these doors is the bench from Griffith Park Carousel as well as one of the carousel pieces itself and one of my favorite fantastic photos of Walt himself walking through the castle one early morning before all the tourists arrive to witness what his dream and his creation was. So inside here they always change these on a regular basis in the theming this time, this month, this segment of the year, is the Disneyland early years. Walt Disney had an idea for a family park where parents and children could have fun together. So that's basically what the theming of all of this is. And you can see a lot of the old artist renditions here. Check this out. You can see the Jungle Cruise over off to the left. Here is the Bazaar. Isn't that so bizarre and here is one of the jungle cruise vehicles festooning itself through the water and you'll recognize any of those who are disney fan will recognize a lot of these names like harper goff right here and here's an old photo here walt himself on one of the jungle cruise ships before the park actually opened when they were just testing it out of course the jungle cruise is one of the rides that was actually open on opening day and Walt actually rode and actually put all his effort into it. So that is really awesome. Just a lot of really cool exhibits all through here. Now a lot of people know the history of Walt Disney and a lot of people do know the history of Disneyland. This is for people who might not know the backstory, a lot of how it all started, how it all began, and those of you that might know that maybe did not know that this exhibit existed. This is really cool. This is a colored drawing of the Golden Horseshoe Review, which is really super cool, which is over by Big Thunder Mountain Railroad when you're heading over into New Orleans Square. And here is the shooting range, which still exists today, the shooting range here and this trading post. Well, they have a lot of Disney pins now. Here's the Rivers of America and Tom Sawyer Island. You can see Tom Sawyer Island, the exterior concept renderings of what Tom Sawyer, Tom Sawyer was going to be like. And as you can see, it looks very much like this today other than the area where they now do Fantasmic. And it's now called Pirate's Lair. But a lot of this still looks very similar. In fact, I think this actually did exist for a while, but they've removed the pier tackle shop. I do not think that actually is still there anymore. And of course the train, Walt was a big fan of trains. So very, very cool. Take a look at this. Here's a Fantasyland overall concept rendering. You can see Peter Pan here, Mr. Toad, which still exists today, Snow White, Alice in Wonderland actually is over here now. Alice in Wonderland is not next to Snow White. This would actually be the Pinocchio ride in today's era of Disneyland. So a lot of really cool stuff inside here. Just look at all these awesome photos, artists, renderings, and old documents of the past letting us know, letting us reflect on how Disneyland was actually created. This is really super awesome. And you can actually find it right in here if you were actually going to the Mr. Lincoln show right over there. You actually pass 
a lot of this. You actually see a lot of this as you're walking through. And like I was saying, this changes periodically. Does anyone know, leave a comment down below if you know how often these displays are changed, the theming are changed. And this, I leave you with this. This is one of my favorite places to actually hang out and relax and reflect on the history and the past of Disneyland. This is actually a map, a miniaturized scale model map of Disneyland on opening day in 1955. So this has been a short vlog about the history and the past in the form of artist conceptual drawings on the past of Disneyland. Pretty awesome stuff. Make sure you check it out if you're ever at Disneyland, you ever come out to Disneyland. Do not avoid this area. When you're walking into the park, it's immediately on the right. Great moments with Mr. Lincoln. Make sure you check out that. Oh, yes. What's going on out here? I was distracted, and I want to end this vlog with something very fantastic. It's the Dapper Dan's arriving. So we are now leaving the past and now entering the present. By the way, you see all these Main Street vehicles? How many of you guys out there watched my last Main Channel video on the Adam the Woo channel where I rode all the Main Street vehicles? Leave a comment if you have seen that video. And also, I have a new abandoned video coming out tonight on the Adam the Woo channel, a new abandoned video. On that channel, I do all different kinds of content. Disney, abandoned, other theme parks, movie locations. But there you have it. The Dapper Dans are now arriving. They just got done singing their song. We have left the past, and now I'm going to leave you. Please subscribe. It's absolutely free. It does not cost a dime, a nickel, a penny, a quarter, or any kind of mucho dinero. Just click the subscribe button. You can stay updated where I am in my life. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and I love you guys. Goodbye. Say goodbye to the Dapper Dance. Now, they are kind of retro. They are kind of a thing of the past. So we saw the past, and now we are directly in the present. And tomorrow will be the future, and I will be joining you here on this unedited vlog, a vlog I have done well past 1,000 days. And I will see you tomorrow. I promise. Cross my heart and my fingers and hope to die. Actually, I don't hope to die, but I hope to see you tomorrow. So please subscribe. Goodbye.